going to have to start your... So dense breast is based on the mammogram images of your breast, um, which is basically an x-ray of your breast. On one end of the spectrum, we have patients who have predominantly fatty breasts, and on the other end of the spectrum, we have patients who have predominantly glandular breasts. This is an example of a mammogram of a left breast on a patient who has predominantly fatty breasts, and as you can see, the background is black. It's kind of very gray slash black background. And if we, if she were to develop any masses, um, they would be like uh, a beacon, like a white, a chalk on, on, on a blackboard. This is an example of a dense breast, and as you can see, the background on this x-ray is very white. Uh, so you can imagine um, if you were to start to grow a small mass, which is also white, it could be lost in this So for people with dense breasts, we often, you know, uh, advise them to get additional imaging. I just assumed it just meant I had like heavier breast tissue perhaps. Um, but then when I kind of like research and they would educate me about it, it's like it is harder to kind of see things in dense breast tissue. You're gonna keep your chin up because this is a breathing round, okay? Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> dense breast doesn't mean, you know, you're going to get cancer. It just means it's harder to see or detect it if there is something, if there's a tumor there, if there's a malignancy. So this is giving us the added benefit of being able to see that. Mammogram is the gold standard for detecting breast cancer and for saving lives early. Um, we use that as our foundation when we're you know, imaging women's breasts and we work off of the mammogram. So even though, you know, like I said, it may hide small masses, other things we look for are microcalcifications, we look for distortion in the pattern. So there are other things that we will see on a mammogram, even in a patient with dense breasts, and that is where you always want to start.